I got out of high school. It was the middle of the summertime. But AC went out. It'd be about two weeks before someone could come out, and it just kind of blew me away. Like, man, what line of work is that busy? Sure enough, at the end of the summer, I was enrolled to air conditioning technology. I was always looking for something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life, and I love it. I think that the numbers for people who actually come out of pocket for classes are relatively small. We have the HOPE scholarships, the Pell Grant, and there's also a lot of companies that will actually, if you work for them, they will pay for your school. It wasn't just sitting down at a table reading a book or a teacher sitting in the front of the class. There was a lot of hands-on labs that we were able to do. The beginning courses is the ones that are really, really crucial. You apply those so much out of the gate. One of my instructors would constantly give us troubleshooting problems, he would mess something up with a system so that we could go over there and figure it out. One thing they did, they picked up a dart and threw the dart on the map, and he's like, wherever that dart lands, I'm pretty sure you'll have a job. It just gives you a sense of security. Anywhere that I go, I can get a job there. Everybody needs heat and air. We can't fill all the jobs that we have out there, so anybody that wants to work in this field can definitely get a job. Ever since I was younger, I like to take stuff apart, put it back together, and I knew that that career would be the career for me. Someone calls you out on a 98 degree summer day, house full of kids, it's hot, and you get in there and get that AC going, and you're just walking out like Superman. 50% of our students working in the field are in class at the same time. A lot of the companies that hire them will actually work on their schedule so they can come to school at night. I got in touch with uh, one of the lead instructors. They worked with me and got me fit into a job with a great company, which I'm still with today. Got out, started working for a company. A years later, opened up my own business. Now I have several trucks. My house is paid for. I have several rental properties. Things are good. Still Student debt holds people back. In all actuality, you could have just went to a technical college and came out debt-free and get into a good paying job and been rocking and rolling.